So in this video, we're going to reveal to you this buyer's guide and give you at the end of the video three different trophies for three different top contenders that, that compete for the best overall headlamp, the best budget headlamp, and of course the best prepping headlamp. To do that, we're going to look at these categories including comfort, ease of use, output, battery life, build quality, light quality, additional features, and of course, value. So to do that, we're gonna look at each category and identify which headlamps rise to the surface for each of these categories. And then we'll give you the punchline at the end of the video so that you can invest your money in the right headlamp. Okay, so let's look at the first topic, which is uh, which is comfort. And I scored comfort, which is probably the most underrated feature of a headlamp this way. It's got to have a comfortable strap, right? And that's got to be comfortable over longer periods of time. So the question is, how easy is that strap to adjust? And does it stay in place during more vigorous activity if you're moving around a lot, like running or prepping? And so this becomes important, especially uh, as we identify comfort for extended periods periods of time. And so factors that you've got to consider if you are ranking a headlamp for comfort would be strap width, adjustability, and stability. So overall, we found that the Phoenix HM65RT and the Petzl Now RL rose to the surface as the most comfortable. The Phoenix, it has a wide headband, as you can see on your screen, and as in this ingenious BOA-style ratcheting dial for a perfect fit. And so it can slip slightly if you get a sweaty and just uh, if you move around too much, uh, it can slip slightly, but it is the best overall for comfort in my opinion. Now the Petzl Now RL, it has a battery pack at the back, which can be an advantage because this allows it to feel lighter and have a better balance on your head. That makes it a top contender for comfort. I didn't put the Olight Perrin 2 on this list, uh, but it might come in as an honorable mention and worth noting as well. Okay, so let's talk about the next category, which is ease of use. So you see there on your screen, out of all of these options, the Olight Perrin 2, again, it rises to the top. And so let's look at this one. So uh, in, in this case, it is especially important for a headlamp to have ease of use because you're controlling it by feel, right? So when you are working with a headlamp in a dark situation, you probably are not gonna take it off your head, especially if you're in a critical situation, which you are in a survival or prepping situation. That's what you wanna be ready for. Therefore, it's very important that we look for the ones that have uh, dials and buttons that are easy to access and easy to use. So the Olight Parent 2 and the Phoenix WH23R, they score highest in this category with large, easy to locate buttons and user-friendly interfaces. I particularly like this one, the Parent 2, because it had quick access to a moonlight mode and a turbo mode, which made it versatile for different scenarios. There is the Phoenix that I mentioned as well. That would be another option. You can see even just on your screen, it's got a significantly easy to find button. Okay, so let's go to the next category, which is output. And this is the most heavily marketed feature when it comes to the headlamp, but it's often the most misleading. To really dial in and identify, does the headlamp score well in the topic of output, you've got to measure output uh, from a lumen chamber over a 10 minute period of time at least to see does it hold up. Not just does it give output in an initial burst, but does it hold up over time. And so most headlamps, they met their manufacturer's claims as you can see on the screen, but there was a significant drop off in output after just a few minutes. The through night TH30 V2, it performed the best, maintaining high output over a longer period of time, while others, like the Silver Tail Speed 5R, it dropped off quickly. So there are real world implications for this, right? Because you've got to have a sustained output uh, of this headlamp for an activity like prepping or survival where anything can come up and you don't want to be worried about, am I going to have a consistent output of light in my headlamp? Okay, so let's move on to the next category, which is battery life. Battery life is another crucial factor, especially for preppers who might need their headlamps to last through extended periods of time without power. So larger headlamps with bigger batteries, they're going to naturally perform better for this one. So there's a trade-off to consider here, battery life and portability 
and which one is more practical for you as a prepper in different scenarios. So I relied on the manufactured specs for this one for battery life, but keep in mind that quoted figures can be misleading. The Olight Parent 2 with its 21,700 battery, it can run for up to 18 hours at 120 lumens. Let's talk about the next category, which is build quality. And this is pretty good across the board for these headlamps that we rated, uh, even among the budget ones. Uh, however, some models like the Phoenix HM6 5RT and the Silver Tailspeed 5R, they stood out for their durability and construction. Let's move to the next category though. Let's talk about light quality. Light quality can be important if you're using the headlamp for longer periods. I measured color temperature and accuracy with a spectrometer to see how these performed. And light quality matters, especially if you are gonna end up having eye strain and you need color accuracy for specific tasks. And so most headlamps were fairly mediocre in this category, as you can see on your screen. Uh, we've got the Cyan Sky there standing out. And let's put that one up on the screen. So the Cyan Sky and the Sofon HS20, they stood out with neutral light with high CRI flood LEDs offering excellent color rep reproduction. And so there are differences in light quality for these different lamps, and that can affect the usability in different environments, especially if you've got to use this headlamp in an indoor versus outdoor situation, you'll want to factor that in. All right, so let's talk about additional features. Finally, I scored each one of these on additional features like USB-C charging, red light modes, and whether the lamp can be removed from the strap for handheld use. So there are extra features that can make a headlamp more versatile, more user-friendly, and these can impact the overall rating and actually give it a little bit of a boost as it in improves its versatility, right? So headlamps with red light modes, they scored higher, as did those that can be used as handheld lamps where there's that removability. The Petzl Now RL, uh, oh, I don't have that one on the screen. It also comes with a storage pouch that turns it into a lantern, a very useful feature for, pre for preppers. The through night is up here on the screen, especially for its removability, uh, so that it has that versatility for preppers lamp. Okay, before we look at the final score for the headlamps, let's talk about this. We offer a zero to prepared 15 minutes readiness checker because as you dive into this world of prepping, no matter whether you're a beginner or if you've been doing it a long time, action builds momentum. But let's now give some awards out for these headlamps. The best budget headlamp is the Sofon HS20. It offers excellent value for its price with a solid performance in most categories, as you can see there on your screen. And so when it comes to budget or best bang for your buck, we're looking not only at affordability, but also some level of overall performance. The Sofon HS20 rings in for that category, so we gave it the award for best Headlamp. Best prepper headlamp, I should say, is now the Petzl Now RL. It scores a 78% overall, and it is the most comfortable headlamp with a good balance of weight and power. It's simple to operate, which is crucial in emergency situations, and it has a built-in rear red LED for additional safety. So the Petzl Now RL, it's ideal for preppers because it focuses on practicality, ease of use, and features that specifically cater to survival preparedness. Finally, let's look at the best overall headlamp, which is the Phoenix HM6 5RT, which came in at a score of 79 out of 100. Across these eight categories, we scored them out of 10. This one got the 79 out of 100 when adjusted uh, for that 100 mark. And so it's an excellent choice for various activities, including prepping, camping, general use. It has a versatile headband, a simple interface, and offers both flood and spot LED options. And uh, if you have a, a topic you'd like to hear about on this channel, leave that in the description below, and we will see you guys on the next video.